Oh, big wreck by Mawson. Hello, everybody. Hope you are doing well. Today, we're playing some more New Star GP. So we started off our career mode. Here's our standings through three races. We're currently fourth in the championship. And we also had a little bit of a run in with Nigel Mawson. They are our nemesis. So we'll have to keep an eye out for them. All right, so let's head to race number three at Vienna. So we're gonna be doing an, an elimination race. I'm just gonna pretend this is like qualifying, even though it's, it's not. Uh, it's basically a way to earn some extra... Uh, stuff so you can buy upgrades and so on and that's what we're doing and it is pouring uh, i didn't record my or i'm not going to include my practice oh my goodness in the video but it's a really fun oh my goodness don't turn in the rain oh we're eliminated oh we spun around in the puddle elimination coming yeah i don't think we're gonna make it uh, unfortunately <laughs> we are eliminated right off the bat here Cash bonus. Oh, we got 250 bucks after agreeing to feature a retro in a retro style video game about their motorsport adventures. Oh, cool. Alrighty. Uh, well, we failed in the elimination race. We got to try to have a better overall race here. Let's look at what we can afford. I think I was saving up for a motor upgrade so we can get our top speed up. And it looks like we have enough, like well over enough. Chief Engineer Simon Deput is calling us. Hey, is that Robert? I noticed that we have some unspent funds. I suggest we. Start making some upgrades to keep us competitive this season. Go to the upgrade. That's what I'm trying to do. I literally pressed A to upgrade the dang vehicle. Get off the phone. Purchased. All right. We uh, don't have a lot of funds again. We could work on the handling a little bit, and it's not too expensive. 150. So I, I think I'm going to do that. I changed my helmet because I actually didn't like the way the red looked with it. Uh, so let's go to Vienna. We've done the elimination race. You can go back, actually, and do anything you haven't fully completed in previous races. I'm just going to work this like a season and not go back and and get the extra if I if I failed at something. Mike Holden, the race commentator on the mic. Over the course of a season, performance of your rivals will improve as they upgrade their cars. You'll need to keep upgrading your car in between races if you want to remain competitive. You got it, Mike. All right, so good choice. This is a short track, so it won't be heavy on fuel. Uh, this is only a short track. Are you sure we need to stop twice? All right, you're, you're the boss here. It's gonna be sunny all the way through. Don't need to worry about rain tires. Let's go on the hards. I'm fine with that. Here's the starting grid. Verville out front. Ronco, the points leader. P2. Uh, we're all the way at the rear, I guess. Yes, we are. Oh, look at our nemesis. He's got freaking steam coming out of his, uh, his ears. All right. I have not had a great start at all. Boost 6%. I don't know. Oh, they took a swipe at us. All right. We got a few trying to block. Yeah, look at this. Look at this blocking. Trying to make it through the first two turns here. Oh, they go a little wide. There you go. That serves you right. Karma. Yeah, you missed the turn there, buddy. Oh, my goodness. That little hill climb to that sweeping turn, man. Oh, a little bit daring on the outside. We got the advantage heading into this turn. I overshoot it. They try to get us back. I'm going to use the boost to get away a little bit. Yeah, these turns are deceiving. They got uphill. Oh, what is going on back there with those two? They got uphills, downhills. It's uh, pretty intense. Some of them are blind. Like you can't, you don't see exactly what's happening. You got to know the track. Uh, Mawson's the next one up. Our rival, who we had a few run-ins with last race. Oh, I slowed down way too much for that one is in the next position. We're currently sitting P7. They are battling away. My goodness. Maybe Mawson's just an aggressive driver. Has he ever thought about that? Maybe it's not everybody else. Maybe it's just him. I don't know. Going to the midway point. Oh, we go off track. That's not good for the tires. Midway point. Oh, we did have some soft tire. That's not a good choice, man. That's not a good choice. They're going to have to pit once again. Oh, man. They're pulling away from us. That's our best lap yet. Well, that's nice. Okay, we caught up to this group here fighting for the final podium position. Oh, big wreck by Mawson. <laughs> he rides up the back tire. Oh, why are you slowing down so much, my friend? He rides up the back tire here of Ronco, the points leader and just freaking shoots right up into the sky. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna pit. Oh boy, everybody's pitting. Midway point. 
That was intense. Oh my goodness. Uh, yes. I don't remember how much fuel was in it at the start, so I'm just gonna go with that. Are we ahead, everybody? I gotta really start paying attention to how much fuel is in this car at the start, because I gotta make sure I have enough to get to the finish if we're gonna do one stops. I don't wanna waste time filling up in the in the pits. All right, we're P6. I think I lost some time here. Some of the soft tires are now ahead of us, but they're gonna have to pit again. Some intense battling going on here. Becker now ahead of us in P5. But again, still some pit cycles to go with these soft tire people. Oh boy, they're pitting the pits. There we go. That's a spot. I wish you could see the full leaderboard. Yeah, that's right. We weren't ready for that move. Oh! Oh, I got a little too aggressive. Oh, man, I looked behind. Yeah, laugh at me. Oh, my goodness. I got a little too excited. I looked behind me entering one of those blind technical turns, and I paid for it. That's what I get. That's what I get for taunting. Gosh darn it. Lap five is six, so I might have given up a podium there. We'll have to see if we can make back on Becker here. I like the upgrading factor of the career mode so far a lot, but I feel like the races in the championship mode are just a little bit more exciting. Like, I can make them a little longer. You run into uh, mechanical issues, and I don't know. Oh. Here we go, up to P3. This is Ronco, the points leader. Final lap here. Come on. Oh, I don't got no boosty boost. If I took those corners a little cleaner, we could have possibly battled for that spot. Coming out of that turn. Are they pitting? What? Oh, okay. That was that was not for a position. Never mind. We weren't even close to Ronco. I think I waited in the pits too long for fuel. That's uh, that's what that was. But P3, three podiums, I think, on the season. So I guess we'll take that for this brand new racing team. Burville out front. Ronco second. And we are third. Where did Moss and finish eighth? Eh. All right. New points. We move up to third in the standings. Still a ways behind Ronco and Verville and our podium situation here. The sunglasses. Event awards, sponsor awards, all that stuff. Okay, we have a dilemma. Uh, which perk would you like to unlock? We got national secure. What does that mean? Uh, 150 bucks for winning a GP by more than 10 seconds. I don't know when that's going to happen. Uh, faster refueling. Refuel your car in the pits more quickly. Well, I'm going to go with that pit, Chief. I'm going to go with that. Everybody's at least somewhat content. There was general bemusement at the New Star Racing Garage today when, as Penny Counter hired a busker to entertain the team after the race. When asked, Nate Rubble told us the busker was definitely not playing all the right notes. What is a busker? All right, so I put in faster fuel and got rid of the better handling when you're off track because uh, I, I don't plan on going off track too often, so that's what that is. Oh, <laughs> You can rent out technology, basically. Well, if it isn't Robert Bearder begging for help from a much better driver, whatever. If you need help, then I can sleep easy, I suppose. We're, we're doing perfectly fine without you. Our chief engineer, Simon Depot. Hello? Have you noticed that Nigel Marston's becoming quicker and more aggressive on the track? As your relationship with your rivals gets worse, they become more motivated to beat you. Think about that when you're trash-talking them in the post-race interviews. My goodness, Simon. Are you on his team or mine? I don't care what Mawson thinks. He's at the bottom of the standings anyway. Our next race in, I believe, Hungary is uh, Danube, I think. That's how you say it? I don't, I'm not exactly sure. I could be wrong on that one. Uh, let's... Uh, we got a checkpoint race, a reverse track, race in the opposite direction. It's the same track, but different. And then we have the GP. Why is it? Oh, that's so weird. I wish we just had qualifying and stuff like normal. <laughs> I think it's possibly time we uh, work on our handling a bit because it, <laughs> it has been a minimal. Uh, we also have braking, which would be a nice addition. Actually, braking, that's a nice upgrade and we have enough for it. Handling, yeah, let's work on it. Let's get the, oh boy, here we go. 
Yes? Hi, you'll need to speak up. It's a little hard to hear in this thing. Anyway, this is Bernie Rubber at Melkler Motor Rec Work. Mo Motor and Work. So we're available to hire if you're interested. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just stick with Nate for now. I, I don't I don't see a reason. And I don't want to spend money. I'd like to upgrade my car if I don't get interrupted by another phone call. Alright, braking. Let's do it. I'm gonna have to get used to a different driving style now. Man, we're just a five short of getting the uh, suspension as well. So now we have the reverse track, which is another chance to earn some money, which will be good. Uh, we have another dilemma. Whoever you choose gains happiness. Very unhappy staff may leave your team. Okay, we know this dilemma. We want a test track or a performance report. What? What is what is better, upbeat or happy? Is that a, like a slightly less green on the right side? I guess I'll go with Simon. Oh man, I guess I should have gone with the other dude. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell what was better. How long is this race? Is this like a whole race in the wrong direction that's not for points? The four lap race. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a long track. And I'm going to be learning this track in the opposite direction now. I almost messed up. I almost spun my tires out. They are fast. Oh, they're all probably using boost. I don't want to learn this track in the wrong direction. This is just silly. This should just be its own GP. Oh boy, we got Moss in front of us. Oh, those brakes are nice. I can actually save myself when I make a mistake over entering. Oh, yikes. That was bad. Mind you, we're riding in reverse. I thought I was learning the track one way. I've already done a test drive and a checkpoint race going the right direction. Now we're going to do this. I'm going to unlearn everything I know, and then we're going to get into the, G the, the GP for points. I don't know if the braking's maybe hurting me now. It's almost too powerful. I used to be able to kind of use the brake and still, like, glide around the corner a little bit. Now I'm just kind of stopping. It's a fun track. It's very technical. I think it's a lot longer than some of the others we've done so far. Can we get some spots here? My goodness. Oh, they are battling away in front of us. You guys know this isn't NASCAR, right? Like, you don't have fenders! Why? Oh, my... We're lucky we didn't get hurt. What is... Can you two figure it out? Oh, my goodness. It's, like, freaking Parcheesi out here. They're blockading me. Pitting from the lead. All right. I suppose we'll pit, too. See ya. See ya. A little cheap. A little cheap. I don't care. We shouldn't be doing a reverse race anyway. All right, we're good. And here we go. Back out of the pits. That was a long pit exit. My goodness. All right, P3. So you... P2. Can we get this reversed win? We'll see. Oh, I was looking for my... I forgot where the boost location was. That meat. Oh, no. That meter. Up in the top right under the fuel. I was, like, looking down at the bottom by my, uh... My speed. And I was not paying enough attention for that turn. Gosh, freaking darn it. All right, let's get this pass done again. We're gonna be ticking off people here. Oh, stay on the track. Oh, uh, one more lap to go. I think we could have won it if I didn't, you know, lose all of my ability to drive a race car in that lap. It'd be cool if, like, the information that I need is... are Those those aren't working dashboards, right? I don't think so. It would be cool if those actually showed so I could just look in front of me. Oh, you really slowed us down there, wasting our boosty boost. See you. It's so weird that we did like a full reverse race. It's not a points race. It's just this random reverse race. So you could learn the wrong habits right before uh, right before the main Grand Prix. We at least we we at least get uh, paid for this stuff. In a second or higher. There we go. We got some money. New Star second class. It was close for New Star Racing in today's reverse track event, but they didn't quite have the speed. But I feel like I really need to work on our suspension especially in the uh the grip category so let's uh let's upgrade this one we enter this race third overall with 12 points uh the leaders at 22 and 21 oh boy it's raining mike holden on the mic as you join me here for the don you jam prix the question on everyone's lips is can new star racing improve on their current third place this season's championship they look competitive but have they have the extra speed to take the win today. I don't know if we're a winning car just yet, to be honest. 
Good choice when the weather's so unpredictable. I mean, it looks like it's going to rain the whole time. One stop can be risky when the weather's unpredictable. I'm going to try the one stop. We'll see how it goes. Might be the deciding factor. All right. Oh, look at those puddles. This is already a tough track. Why are we always in the back? Like, why isn't there qualifying in this game? Mawson right there in P7. And here we are with our sunglasses playing it cool in the rain. No boosty boost. That's fine. Out of my way. Oh, boy. All right, Mawson. I see you. Get away from me. Yeah, get away from me. Luckily, we didn't make rivals with, like, the freaking points leader or something. It's just... Oh, Mawson hit us. Mawson. Get away from me. Oh my goodness, he's a danger to society. Hang on to it, hang on to it. Oh my goodness, he's right next to us. This dude. Oh, we almost had a wreck in front of us. AI riding up on each other's tires. Mawson is a terror. You gonna let him push you around like that, Lob? Lob A? Oh my goodness, I'm afraid to try to make a pass. Because there's a lot of tight cornering in here. And the puddles also make it a little bit of an issue. Which is really cool. The weather... I mean, I spun out earlier. If I think that's in the video. I, I, oh! I spun out during one of the elimination races right off the start. Because I was in a puddle. But you got to be careful. That's for sure. I also I also have to pay attention to like what I'm doing t in terms of... Uh, I wasn't paying attention to fuel, to be honest. I think it was probably full. Try to get a run here. Oh, of course, you pulled right to the left there. Why wouldn't... Why wouldn't you? Sun forecast? What are you talking about? It was supposed to rain the whole time. Uh-oh, that one-stop strategy now might be a little bit of an issue. But we can always audible, I believe. Just then I gotta remember... I don't think they'll call me in. I gotta wait from here. Mawson's up next again. There goes the rain. That is not a great situation for us. There's still... Oh, Mawson spins out. Let's go. <laughs> See you, Mawson. That's right. All right, people are pitting. I th think I might... Oh, okay. There we go. I think I might pit too, unfortunately. It's going to kind of get rid of our our strategy here. What am I going to throw on? Uh, hard tires? See if we can get to the end? I don't know. Might be the wrong car. I see hard tires there. Ooh, Mawson was right behind us there. Can we get to the end? I don't know. Oh! Auto drive. Sending us into the back of this vehicle. Ronco, the points leader. To the P3. We're all the way up to P4. We did. We had a pretty good pit stop there. Pretty good pit stop. I just gotta be careful with these puddles. They're still on the track. And there's still one more weather possible weather change, I think. The final two laps. So hopefully it doesn't start raining again. Or else these hard tires were a joke. And I should have went with the red then. Bronco's kind of pulling away from us. They got red tires on, soft tires. Well, this is fun. This race has turned into a real strategy fest. Like actually making decisions that matter with the rain and so on. I like it. That's cool. And they got me. I mean, I guess I got to pay more attention to the percentages. There's always a chance that it might not continue raining. They were all above 50%. Oh, wow. Bronco. Pulling no punches like a demo derby saved it we're good we're good gosh darn it we lost a lot of time on that there we go see you nope okay maybe not I overshot it you're right don't stick your tongue out at me 
Oh, park the bus, why don't you? This is a fun race, though. Oh, a little... Ch oh, yeah, I, I was about to say I was a little cheeky there, but... They, Arnaud let me know they also felt that was uh, the wrong move, and they <laughs> cut in on me. I have no boost to really take advantage on this outside. They got the position. I gotta give them a little bit of space here. I don't want to rival Arnaud. Alright, I think we got by them. Yeah. See you. E3. Alright. We got pit stops. From all those in the soft tires, I think. Hopefully, we can make it to the end. It's going to be a little tight on fuel. Used all of our boost there. Maybe it wasn't the right choice. I don't know. I let off the throttle a little bit. Maybe I can save some fuel. Being a little bit smarter around these turns. There, I'm feathering it. Uh-oh. It's getting dark. Uh-oh. I think it's going to rain. Are you freaking kidding me? Or is that just nighttime? I think it might be nighttime. Never mind. We might be good. Man, there's day to night changes in this game, too? What the heck? That's so cool. Are these lights going to turn on? That'd be amazing. Oh, P2's right there. Or first place? Oh, that's, that's first place all the way up there. What are you fighting me for? Shower forecast. It's too late. No, it isn't. All right. B1's pitting as well. All right, let's get those t those wets on. I kind of wanted to stay out, but it could have been a mistake. So we're just going to throw those wet tires on. Oh, shoot. People are going by. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, get out of there. Burville was P1. Are we still in... Are we still out front? We're P2. Oh, the, the auto drive gets us right up to their back. It's not a bumper. I don't know what to call it. The rear chassis. Oh, boy. Battle for the lead with Verville. I have to have good lap. We're in the rain. Did they put reds on? So I could have stayed out on those hards, possibly. It's only a drizzle, I guess. Maybe. It's not raining as hard as it was. Oh, boy. Oh, I used all the boost already. Oh, that's not good. We might be done. I think that's the wind getting away. Unless they spin out on those reds. They might have some trouble with handling. I don't know. And maybe it's not going to happen enough, quickly enough. Oh, this was a good race. Did I throw it away by not staying out on the hards and gambling in the rain? Oh, we got into the back of them. Uh, oh, block central. No. I can't believe it. Oh, we got the run on him, but he closed the closed the gap. Oh, well. P2, though, I think that's our best. That's uh, That was a good race. That was awesome. All right, P2. Where did Mawson finish? Oh, P9, huh? All right, that, what's that going to do for us in the points? Verville still out front. Man, we need a win. We need a win. It's getting a little later in the season. Was this the fourth race out of 10? I really wish there was a photo mode for this game. I really wish there was. All right, we got some money for upgrades and a perk unlocked. Oh, boy. We got a dilemma coming our way then. Uh, Simon DePod. Reduce collision damage. Reduce damage from collisions. I haven't really seen too much damage from collisions, so I'm not too worried about it. And then we have auto pit stop. Fully automated pit stops. What does that mean? I like handling the pit stops. I don't understand what fully automated pit stops mean, but I'll give it to you to be upbeat. New Star Racing have received payment 250 bucks from their new tenant. The enterprising motorsport team have rented out their steward shed to bagel making company and are now are, are not only benefiting from the rental checks, but also fresh bagels in their morning coffee. We got some extra cash. Oh, I, you know what? I, it's probably if I if you pick the strategy at the start of the race, they probably I don't have to select a tire. I also don't have to hold down the fuel. They probably just do it for you. So I, I'm not too worried about it. Faster fueling we have. Car collisions less likely to spin off. 
and uh, 10 bucks per lap. I'm going to keep those three. I think that's fine. Acceleration would really help us when we get those passes done. Sometimes we bog down. We can't get away. So I think I'm going to go with the acceleration. 285. We have enough for another upgrade. Decrease the time it takes your car to get in gear, improving acceleration. Oh, how have I missed that this whole time? Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. That's fine with me. Hope you enjoyed this episode. That was a fantastic race, the second one. So looking forward to what Quebec has for us. And, and again, the season standings before we leave. Verville out front with 31. Ronco in second with 26. And we have 18 in third. So till next time, hope you are well. And uh, leave a like, comment, let me know what you think. And peace out.